Will, how's, how's it feel to be back? Good, great. You know, I feel good. Body feels good, so that's a plus. And you last year, you kind of slowed with some ailments. How are you health-wise now? Um, you know, part of my camp is getting better, of course, since it's my last year, but uh, also staying healthy. You know, going from last year, getting hurt after the second game of the season, and how I performed those two games, you know, I really just want to stay healthy and perform like that all year this year. How do you think Cody did in your absence last year? You know, he had his first couple games, I know he was kind of starstruck because that's, you know, he went from, uh, you know, playing the high school straight and moving in, kind of how I did too, you know. And uh, but it was very unex unexpected, and you know, I think he did good, especially in the Egg Bowl. He really balled out. So hopefully uh, he can he can go back to that when he plays again. I know Tucker was all American punter. Mullen mentioned they're trying to work him pretty much exclusively at place kicker to compete for that job. What have you seen from him and what he brings to the table in the first few weeks? Um, you know, he's a heck of a kicker. Um, he's been jarring field goals and punting as well. You know, he he kind of has that freshman punting syndrome, kind of how I had when I came in. You know, uh, four or five team punts, he'll hit two. They're just like, you know, make you wonder how he hits a ball that high. And the other ones are kind of iffy. So, you know, he just has to just get that consistency factor down. But that also comes from being a freshman, too. Dan said, y'all really haven't done a whole lot of competing, you know, in the practice yet. But what do you anticipate moving forward? And how do you think about, what do you think about the kicking game? Uh, it's looking good, man. The first day, uh, there was a lot, of, a lot of talking going around. Like, you know, hey, who are these guys? You know, we got a lot of really good kickers, and that's from players coach as well, so it's good to hear that stuff. And um, so really looking forward to who wins the job and who, who performs this season. Are you having to approach these things any differently, being a senior with so many younger kickers uh, hanging around? Um, you know, in the past, I've always felt, which I've went from high school, I feel like I'm always, I always have to be the guy in charge, kind of, you know, just my mindset. And even when Devin and Chap were here, you know, I always, you know, they were above me, but also the guys under me, I felt like I had to, you know, pick them up and lead them as well. So I don't really approach any different, you know, it's just kind of how, how my mindset is sometimes. What do you all do with the place kick drills as you're the holding there? When, when things go bad or things go right, what do you tell those guys when you get off to the side and away from the coaches? Well, from both, both aspects, you know, they miss a kick, you know, it's not the end of the world, they're going to miss a kick. And uh, so, you know, I got to be there, pat them on the butt, you know, and, you know, tell them next kick. You know, and last year we had a lot of a lot of those pats on the butts, you know, so hopefully this year we'll have, we'll have a little fewer of that. And also, you know, on good kicks as well, you know, you got to keep your head level and, you know, not get too cocky or confident. Other than staying healthy, you know, what are some of your personal goals for this year? Um, you know, I, I really want to have a, I guess they call it a breakout year, but I really want to perform perform really well. And like I said, last year, the first couple games and going into fall camp and the first two games of the season, I felt the best I've ever felt. And then, you know, that Sunday after the second game, you know, when I hurt my knee, it kind of fell apart and I just kind of had to survive, I guess you'd, you'd say. So this year, pretty much, you know, stay healthy, like you said, and also just perform to how I can perform. That's kind of a rough estimate. How many balls did you kick this summer, would you think? Oh, Lord, probably thousands. You know, I went to Wisconsin for a couple a couple camps and went to North Carolina, too, and uh, which is a lot of, you know, North Carolina was more individually. and then. Wisconsin was kind of all the, you know, most of the top guys in the country went there from much, much SEC schools. So getting to go to that and compete a lot and plus working around here, we probably kicked a lot. So.